God plucked Abraham out and blessed him. Hallelujah. So you got to believe you're endowed with God's blessing on your life. I'm blessed. So now you got to have faith for that. I'm blessed. Therefore, when I honor God and walk upright, do what I need to do, it has to prosper. I have to prosper. I'm blessed. <laughs> so now that's first. Now, how do you keep that blessing on your life? Because it's very clear you can lose it. <laughs> yeah, you can lose it. You can lose God's validation. You can lose God's endowment to prosper your life. So I, I at all costs, I got to keep this blessing on me. The good news for you and I is that we can't hardly lose it because we in Christ. God blessed him, and we are in him. But there are some things that can hinder it from manifesting in your life. Disobedience. This is why you got you to gotta try your best to walk upright to keep the blessing on your life. You got to obey God. You got to live right before God. You got to honor God with your life if you want this blessing. Because when Adam sinned, he lost the blessing. And so we want it to stay on our lives. And we want it functioning. The good news is you can repent. You can get back in alignment. This is first, y'all. I got to do this first because you got a whole bunch of folks sowing and sinning. And allowing the devil to just stop everything God's trying to do in their life. Because God ain't going to empower you to keep sinning. You understand? You, it's like you walk right out from under the benefits of being blessed. Because everything you're doing, you're short-circuiting it. You're, 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 you're bringing the curse in. It's not that God stopped blessing you. It's just you bringing in so many curses in your life. You can't even see no benefits of it. So, so we have to keep that blessing working. I have to walk in love. I have to walk in obedience. I have to honor God and honor God's word. I got to keep this blessing functioning. All right? I'm in Christ. So now, once you get that established as a mentality, as a mindset, that the blessing is on me, the blessing is on my purpose, it's on my life, it's on what God has called me to do. Now you got to understand the principle of the tithe. Now, boy, the tithe, according to Malachi, is crucial for this blessing. It's like if you don't understand the tithe, the Word of God says the blessing of God over your life will be hindered. What is the tithe? Let's settle this forever. Should I tithe? Should I not tithe? What it, it will be so clear if you understand what it is. Two minutes, listen to me. The tithe didn't start with Melchizedek. That's what most people say. Is it Old Covenant? Do we have to keep it in New Covenant? Well, it was before the New co Old Covenant because Abraham paid tithes to Melchizedek and he hadn't even instituted, you know, the, the, the law yet. But it didn't even start in Melchizedek. It didn't even start with Abraham. It started in the garden. Okay, let me show it to you real, real quick. You don't have to turn there. Just, just I, I want you to think about something. It's, it's much deeper than, than giving money. Are giving stuff. Genesis chapter number four, just remember this. Oh, throw it up on the screen. <laughs> Genesis chapter number four, uh, verses number one through four. I'm going to explain this real quick. Genesis one through four. It says, and Adam knew his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain and said, I have acquired a man of the Lord. Then she bore again, this time his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep, 
Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord. And Abel also brought of the fruit of the firstborn of his flock. Underline that or just make note of that. And of the, and of the fat. And the Lord respected Abel and his offering. But he did not respect Cain and his offering. And Cain was very angry and his countenance fell. Now, can I ask you the million dollar question? How did, how did that get instituted? That the very first people on planet earth are bringing offerings to the Lord. Who could have set that up? We're dealing with a principle here that God established. This didn't even start with Abraham. It didn't even start with the law. This is this, some kind of way. The very first people God created, he said, you got to bring me something. What do you have to bring me, God? The first. I have to be first. And so the very first time they brought an offering, Cain blew it. I know why God didn't reject his offering, because it wasn't the first. It wasn't the best. But Abel brought the firstborn. He didn't bring no same. He said, the very first sheep that pop out of here. Is going to God because God had to have set that up that way that the first belongs to me <sighs> the tithe ain't got nothing to do with money it's got to do with God belongs first God said if I ain't one don't even bring it to me so this has to do with honor. This ain't about money. The tithe meaning the tenth. That's what the word tithe means. The tenth, which means God must say the tenth is the first. It represents the first. And so whatever you get, God says, I want to be first. Now, he has the right to ask for 50% of it or 90% of it. But he just says, all I want to do is be recognized first for whatever you get. I want to be worshipped first. I want to be honored first. That's all the tithe is. It is putting God first. When you understand that, you will do it gladly, reverently. Uh, because hey, Does he belong second, <laughs> third? But, I, but my bills are due. Does he belong after Swepco? But I'm hungry. Does he belong after your groceries? No, call a fast. Say, we just won't eat today, but I got to make him first. And when people don't tithe or they steal it or don't, they are dishonoring God. How are you going to be blessed? Dishonoring the blesser who gave you just a simple command, just make me first. Just the first tenth, the firstborn, the first whatever. The, the first fruit come out that ground, Cain should have ran to the Lord with it. But he didn't. I don't know what he brought, but it wasn't first. It wasn't honorable. God says, I don't want that. You probably picked over it and ate a little bit and everything before you brought it to me. I don't want that. And then he mad. And God's like, if you do right, that's right, I love it. It's right there in your Bible. God, God looked at Cain and said, why are you angry? If you do well, will it not be accepted? You don't get to pick how you bring it. Are you listening to me, church? You don't 
get to pick how you bring it. So forget about the law. Forget about Melchizedek. Forget about Malachi. All those arguments are mute. This started in the book of Genesis. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is crucial. That's why in Malachi he says, you robbed everybody. I mean, bring me the tithe and see when I open up the window. Pour you out a blessing. Just make me first. It ain't about your stuff. I don't need it. God's in heaven. God don't need no corn. God don't need no money. God needs honor and respect to say whatever we have, I'm going to honor you first. Ooh, lift your hands and receive that. Let that get way deep down in. And those of you watching me or if you're in this room and you've been, been disrespecting, dishonoring God, just repent. Because this is the connection to the blessing. He says, if you make me first, that blessing will come. I'll open up a window. I'll pull you out a blessing. You will have room enough to receive. You honor me. You love me. You keep me first. That's the first commandment. And Adam couldn't keep it, and he died. Cursed the whole family. But now he teaches them what evidently the Lord taught him because evidently he couldn't keep his hands off of what belonged to the Lord. And then Cain does the same thing. And so this, okay, put the PowerPoint back up. Oh, this is good stuff. I'm trying to get a flow coming to your life. He has to be first, y'all. He has to be first, period. That's the tithe. So now, if that's messed up, then it doesn't matter what else you do. If you've messed up the honor, if you've messed up the blessing, because it's, it's very evident in the Bible when you don't put him first, then this blessing is hindered on your life. All types of curses start coming because he ain't first. 